this is it. The point in the Phantasmagoria Let's Play where something might finally happen. Yes, we're well over 80 minutes into the game, and finally we're going to get out of our boring drudgery at work, and we're finally going to go to the place we've been dreaming about from the beginning of the game. That place called the Dreaming Tree. Yes, the place where dreams come true. Or will it turn out just to be tchotchkes, which we were already at for lunch? I guess we'll find out. Here we go. Nope, it's tchotchkes. Bit of a letdown. Oh, hey, Curtis. Yeah, seat yourself. I'm just working on these receipts, bro. Right on. Hi, yourself. I'm not getting erotic letters from Therese. Stop interrogating so me, okay? Would be the usual today, sir and madame. A jalapeno and honey grilled cheese sandwich for him and a veggie burger for her. You know, I'm not all that hungry. Okay, no, two no. nothings. Hey, how about a couple of those uh, double chocolate world famous multi years? You got it, boss. You know, the Dreaming Tree is listed in the Zagat's Guide. Five stars for its jalapeno and honey grilled cheese sandwiches. Aw, oh, damn. He just teleported the two malts onto the table, and yet I can't touch them. I guess I'll talk to the girl. My sweetie. What? Nothing! I never touched her! Yeah, uh, pretty much sucked. Whoa! He just delivered the malts all over again. <laughs> Curtis, I want to be there for you. I want to help you when you're feeling bad. I want to crush the last remnants of your you independence. Just so much to me. There for you, Jess. I know. It's... I just wish... Is she going to break into a song? Hey, are you guys going to want anything else? Because uh, these receipts are really piling up over here. Uh, I'll just add it up then. Milkshake, milkshake, 295. Why do I have to click on her every time I want to move on to a new paragraph in the conversation? You're really tearing through that milkshake. Curtis... I know when we started seeing each other, we said it was just for fun. No commitments. And and I meant it, too. I really did. I just... Why can't you be more like Bob? Well, sometimes things change. Here it comes. I love you, Curtis. If only you weren't such a whiny bitch. And I'm not trying to smother you or anything. Oh, I yes, you are. I just want to be with you. I just... That guy has been back there for hours. What, is he writing his fucking memoirs or something? I forgot the sales tax. Times point zero eight. There you are. One receipt, my friend. Back to the stack. Forty-seven thousand dollars. What the hell? This American remake of Shaun of the Dead isn't very good. Hey, I can click on the waiter. Let's try that. Shazam! Our milkshakes are full. Aww, look at the two little lovebirds. Aren't they cute? Hey, you two, get a room. What for? Why are you always trying to hide this gorgeous lady, Curtis? If I was you, I'd follow her around with a spotlight. <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> you know, I bet the waiter turns out to be the evil mastermind behind all this whatever's happening. Just do you remember that night we went to the park? <laughs> no. Oh, God, it was so hot. We brought a loaf of stale bread to give to the ducks. <laughs> And they all I came. <laughs> I never knew there could be so many ducks in one <laughs> We all came, too. <laughs> and you, you ran from them. Oh, they were going to eat me. <laughs> Seriously, babe, you know how I feel about ducks. A duck killed my father. Mm, what happened when we uh, got rid of them? <laughs> of course I do. What was that waiter's name in Paris? Jean-Luc! Eating. <laughs> it was so hot. Your skin was so slippery. In fact, you're pretty oily most of the time. that dark spot that tree. You had to stop moving anytime anybody came close. <laughs> and you, you made those sounds, those sexy whimpers, because you couldn't stand it. Oh my god, Jocelyn, head for the exit now. The ducks, they found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Kill that slut. Kill her like you killed your mother. Oh, why can't someone give me a towel? I kind of drooled all over myself. Her. Do not react. Do not react. Curtis, are you all right? Duh, checking. Brain not detected. Abort retry failed. Yeah, I'm <clears throat> impotent. I'm 
Yeah. I'm sorry, Jess. I'm not. I'm not feeling very well right now. Oh, baby. Do you want me to come over to you? And make you feel better. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that sounds nice. You could watch me paint my Warhammer army. Let's get out of here, okay? Whatever you say. How do you think being a waiter is easy? It's like advanced calculus back there. It was even harder before computers. They were doing this shit on slide rules. Okay, I suppose I should pay the bill. Yeah, that's one of our puzzles in the game, is actually figuring out how to pay the bill. Now, don't tell me I know this one. Uh, let's try the wallet. Yes, there we go. And my milkshake has inexplicably changed levels again. Oh, a group of Buto monks just walked in. Good luck, Curtis. Receipts, receipts, receipts. If you ever have any more troubles, call this lady. She's one of the best. She helped me overcome my addiction to denim. That is, let me put this behind my condom. Four bucks? What, no tip? Don't mind the rat poop. Actually, clean the apartment for a change. And I finally finished sorting all my Punisher hey, comics. Man. Where'd you put the steam shovel when you were done? Oh, that is cute. Just. I think I'll kill you last. Don't I know? He wants to show her his Thundercats fan fiction, but he has to wait for the right time. Mm. Hey, are you hungry? I got frozen chimichangas in the fridge. I wouldn't sit there. Uh, I'd, I'd flip the cushion over. <laughs> You wanna watch Transformers? Okay, say something romantic, something something touching. Um, uh, I hate sand. Uh, no. <sighs> well, yeah. <laughs> what? What do you think about uh, that? Uh, dialogue? Uh. Guess. Ooh, she wants to involve the rat. Oh yeah. Uh-oh, the softcore porn music is firing up. I love you. Whoa! Tonight on Cinemax. Oh, Scully. I mean, Starbuck. I mean, number six. I mean, Jocelyn. There's no way I can show you any of this, right? Thirty seconds later. Huh. You know, it's hard to have sex with a woman when she keeps her panties on. Although, not impossible. Wait a minute, there's a Betamax tape in here! Oh, I forgot to TiVo Smallville! Oh no, I have to change the sheets again. Huh, so you had sex with her and she left. All in all, the perfect date. Well, I gotta swap discs. We'll be right back. Okay, here we go. It sounds like some kind of evil, perverted Star Trek theme is starting up. Space. The final front. Bob's been on Rotten Tomatoes all night, totally flaming some noob who still thinks Deckard isn't a replicant. Say goodbye to your hard drive, asshole. Whoa, you didn't just cut yourself shaving, you must have nicked your jugular or something. <laughs> he must have forgotten to do his laundry because he's wearing the exact same outfit as yesterday. Okay, so some people wrote in saying that I should keep checking my mirror, keep checking Blob, and my mail every once in a while, so I'll do that. All he's got is a drawer full of gray pocket tees. But it works. <laughs> that was it? Okay, thanks fans for that one. I'll, I guess I'll keep checking back every once in a while. Gonna try the mail now. I guess the reason the mail thing stuck me before was because at my house the mail arrives at like 3 p.m. And I, I never woke up to find the mail available. I, I guess that's just part of my own life that got confused. 
Ah, uh, he's so disappointed. He was really hoping the Sci-Fi Channel would get back to him about his petition to bring sliders back. Well, I guess that's just me. World's best grandma, huh? Thinking of you. Whips and kisses. Tea. Oh, that Trevor. He's a funny guy. <laughs> You know, I'm kind of getting that familiar feeling of deja vu where uh, nothing's really happening and I haven't gone anywhere and I haven't accomplished anything. Hey, Miss Bob. Hey, pretty girl. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, you're the prettiest rat in the world, aren't you? Are you serious? Why am I here? I right, just don't get cocky, huh? Why are you talking to a rat? Why am I watching this? I mean, seriously, I have no idea what to do. I have never at any point in this whole game been given any sort of goal beyond, like, go to work. Right now I'm just looking for stuff to click on, which is usually the same stuff I always click on in every room. And so I, I guess my plan from here is just to go to work again. I mean, I mean, I guess my next step is generally hinted at, but it's just never made as clear as in other games. And of course, we always need to see the same uh, pointless full motion video every time we enter and exit a room, because that's critical to the story. I need to see that! Thanks for your cooperation, folks. Uh -oh. I know this hasn't been easy. Detective Powell will contact you if we have any more questions. Uh, for a brief moment, Curtis thinks somebody's finally found out he's been stealing pens out of the supply room. Now, this music sounds like something Mark Snow would write, if Mark Snow was brain damaged and hated humanity. Bob was trying to get a payday bar out of the vending machine and it fell over and it was just... And then I had really brief, waxy, and unfulfilling sex with his pasty. Oh, I, uh, I'll be in the bathroom. <laughs> Man, some people took the ending to The Sopranos really hard. Curtis. I, uh, I got here early, and I, I went into your cube to see if you were in yet, and Bob... Bob was naked and doing aerobics, and... Uh -huh. uh, Bob was there. His flabby, hairy body was jiggling in all directions. <laughs> I wonder if it's inappropriate to go dancing down the hall singing Ding Dong the Witch is What's Dead. What's going on here? Yeah. It looks like someone got pretty sick of Bob. Did you suddenly get an accent? What is that, Russian? German? What? Not a real police officer. An active crime scene, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you to stay out of the area. That was a great performance. Once again, given no idea what to do or any goal to have, I guess I'll just start clicking on doors. Start with the one on the left. Yes, we did. Ding, ding, ding. It sounds like a Mazda Miata telling you the door is still ajar. Yeah. Maybe if I confess to sure. Bob's murder, the people of this city will That's throw me a parade. Point. Yes. Uh-huh. Pretend to talk to you on the phone. I doubt it, sir. That's right. No, there's nobody on the other end of the line. I'm just pretending. That's been taken care of. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to need more sandwich-sized Ziploc bags, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, we'll, we'll order out. It's okay. Yeah. Well, Jones is a vegetarian, but uh, we can find something for him. That's Doesn't this figure the one exciting thing to happen all game, and I'm not there to see it? Whoa, not the sound I expected that door to make. Sounds like a John Carpenter movie starting up. The Passion of the Bob. Please enjoy this sneak preview of Watchmen. Phantasmagoria! Oh wait, this is scary. Huh. Okay, guys, we got the big chunks out of the way. We're gonna need a spatula for the rest of this. Milk, no! I believe I have your stapler. Oh, dear God! Fatality. Dude just got sliced stem to stern with a box cutter. Awesome! 
He's resisting every natural instinct hey. to piss on his body. In case you didn't notice, this is an active crime scene. Back off. Sir, this is Jimmy Olsen, cop reporter. Hold still. Good. What's your name, sir? I'm Guybrush Please Threepwood, pray. a mighty pirate. Well, Jimmy, if you asked me yesterday, I said it wouldn't be humanly possible to fit a man's head up his own ass. Is that your cubicle? Yeah. Detective Alley Powell, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Look, I know I sent an email to the whole company confessing that I killed people, but it's just a coincidence, okay? Detective, exactly what weapon was used to do that to Bob? Weapons, Mr. Craig. Several exacto knives, a box cutter, and a heavy-duty stapler. Then he used a keyboard, a letter opener, a pair of AA batteries, a Nerf football, and don't even ask me where he put the pineapple. Ugh. Okay, I'm clicking everywhere. I'm clicking on the cop and nothing's happening. Let's go. Oh. What was your relationship to the deceased man, Bob Arnold? Oh, he was my sworn blood enemy. No, oh, wait, no! Worker. Did you like Bob Arnold? Hey, look, killing Bob wasn't as important to me as crushing his everlasting soul and humiliating him. Officer, look! Look, he's getting away! Stop him! Once again, I can't do anything, and I'm at the game's mercy, hoping the officer will eventually talk to me. Come on. Why didn't you like Mr. Arnold? Uh, he was a weapons-grade douche bottle. He was an ass. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> he was a creep detective. He was a backstabbing sleaze. I see. Oh, yeah, trust me. I mean, the world's a much better place now that he's been chopped into lunchable meat. Not that I killed him, and I mean, I know I've been acting suspiciously all week, but, uh, you know, I, I swear I didn't do it. Oh, come on. Let me click on something. Let me move this forward. What exactly did Mr. Arnold do to make you dislike him so much? Stealing files? One time he put my wireless mouse down his pants. It wasn't just me, though. It was everybody. Yeah, every time he walks past my cubicle, he That's farts. It. He calls it a crop dusting. Really Good immature. Good morning. Hmm... How long after a guy dies should you wait before laying claim to all his stuff? Hmm, I sense a baldness in the force. Curtis, ah! I'm calling a sort of impromptu meeting at the Dreaming Tree. I think we all need to get out of here for a while. Plus, it's happy hour, two for one crazy margarita night. Okay, I'm just gonna stay here and take in the murder scene a while. I mean, you only get to enjoy this once, right? I don't care what kind of music you play, Cubicle isn't scary. You know, the Dreaming Tree lacks the witty ambiance of your central perk. Ugh, you'd think you'd be so sick of milkshakes and fajitas by now, you just want to um, kill somebody! I mean, I mean, I, I really love the fajitas coming, here. everybody. I... A really tragic thing happened today. <laughs> tragic and horrible. Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> if anybody should want to talk to a grief counselor, <laughs> the company will make one available yeah, to sure. you. Yeah, sure. I don't know what else to say, guys. Hooray! I'll go get some drinks. It's just so awful. Yeah, it's, it's, it's horrible. I can't believe it. Yeah. I'm gonna miss him. Yeah. Uh, guys, I don't, uh, I don't feel real well. Tell Tom I had to go, okay? Sure, Trev. He's gay. It must be the AIDS. Oh, I got my choice of the two ladies to talk to. But, again, being a good boyfriend, I will choose my girlfriend. You know, I... I never much liked Bob. No, oh, really? No one deserved that. Except Bob. No one. Oh, I don't know. What about Charles Manson? I mean, if it was good enough for Bob, it's certainly good enough for Jolly Charlie. Not that that sounded suspicious or anything, has are you all right, Curtis? You're acting really weird. Oh, geez, I'm sorry, Joss. I guess finding disemboweled dead guys in my cubicle just throws me right the fuck off. Fine. Why don't you call me when you're done being an asshole? Well, that could take some time, baby. <laughs> That's a good thing we're in a restaurant, because you just got served! You really held it together when you saw Bob splattered all over your cubicle. Ya holosa. Cool as a cucumber. Yeah, my head was in a really weird place. I felt removed, like... Like it wasn't really real. Like we're in some kind of shitty video game, you know? It's just this funny feeling you sometimes get. You know, I don't really feel bad for Bob. I think the bad karma fairy got him. <laughs> bad karma fairy, huh? Gordon Ramsay? 
Ah, she sounds like one dangerous bitch. <laughs> yep. She stumped on his head with her wicked six-inch heels. Curtis, let's cut to the chase. I've told you how I feel about you, and you've put up your nice guy protest, but we're through dancing. When did you become German? Meet me at the borderline tonight. Borderline? What, the club? Mm -hmm. Never been there. This can only end in a three-way or a cat fight, so it's win-win. Here's the address. Let's see, 2 Scribble Avenue. There, that's the whole address. I'll be there at 7. A.M. or P.M.? Don't disappoint me. Hey, that's what I do, baby. I mean, not disappointing you. Hey, you know what I mean. Where'd everybody go? I don't know, but hey, more beer for me. Oh, what, we don't get to see the drunken, meandering, pointless conversation with Tom? Wait a minute, don't spare me a single second of his boring life game, come on! So, best day of work ever? I'm gonna try looking in my mirror again because uh, the fans insist that something good will happen, so uh, we'll see. I didn't kill anyone. Of course you did! Whoa! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. This is Satan. I was just using your bathroom. I'll be right out. I think Beelzebub is in my closet. Nope. Guess not. Uh. Once again, given no direction on where I should go or what I should do, I will once, ad I will once again attempt to feed the rat. Because the whole galaxy centers around that rat. Hey, rat girl. Oh, God. I don't suppose you know what the hell's going on, huh? Isn't it obvious? You're a psycho killer. Blob, you have lain with the Dark One, and I told you no! I'm not here. Pretend she can't see me. What to do, what to do... Bookshelf... Caught dead. Leech therapy. Lobotomy is the answer, what the hell? Is it safe? Oh, that's right, I joined the Stephen King Book Club last month, that was it. Oh, I wonder if I can call that number for the... I can call the number on the the uh, card of the psychiatrist in, the, in my wallet. <laughs> so Curtis has a rotary phone from the 1960s. And the editor realizing this thankfully gives us a crossfade. Dr. Ricky Harburg's office, how may I help you? Hi, uh, my name's Curtis Craig and I was referred to uh, Dr. Harburg by... <laughs> Um, somebody and I was uh, cut, 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 Curtis. Would you learn your lines, Certainly. please? Mm, let me see. You're in luck, Mr. Craig. We're having a lobotomy special. Five thirty. Okay, I guess. Wonderful. See you soon, Mr. Craig. Bye bye now. Oh wait, we don't get to see the exchange of insurance information. What? There are huge gaps in this game. Don't leave me hanging, game. Okay. Sounds like we got a plan. Finally, some direction in this game. Remember, Blob, if the devil calls, do not pick up. Let the machine get it. Now, what am I thinking? It's not time for my appointment. <laughs> okay. Uh, try the club? Uh, I'll miss my appointment with Dr. Harburg. I better wait on that. Well, what do I do? Now, what am uh... I thinking? It's not time for my appointment. Maybe there's something else I gotta do at home, but I don't know what. Crap. Something in the drawer. Let's see. Nope, nothing in the drawer. Nothing in the closet. Can't use the bed. Okay, this room is clear. Can't use the couch, can't use the painting, nothing in here is usable. Next. Can't go into that room, can't use the rat. Never thought I'd say that. 
can't use the bookshelf. This is tapped out. There's nothing in the house that I can use. I can't use that notepad. I can't use it on myself. Uh, look at the greeting card. They can give you whips and kisses. Da, 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 da. Man, this is the real weakness of this game. I mean, all you do whenever you're stuck is just to go into every room you've ever been in and click on stuff until you've exhausted every single possibility of what there is to do. And the killer is, every time you do this, you're always clicking on the exact same stuff. So you're just repeating this ritual in every room. So the only place I have not gone yet is the Dreaming Tree, although I've already been there just now. And unbelievably, it works. Okay, I can talk to the waiter who is still working on his receipts. Hey, my man. Aren't you supposed to be basking in the warm fluorescent lights of Wintech? Nope. School got called due to murder. Bob Arnold got himself butchered like a pig in my cubicle, no less. No way. Yeah. Oh, that is harsh, man. Oh, wait, customers. Go in peace and said no more. So, what was, was Bob? Totally messed up, or what? I mean, was he like knifed? Exacto knifed and stapled, among other things. Stapled? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. He must have really pissed somebody off in shipping. <laughs> anyway, if you need me, I'll be back here as always doing receipts. Man, I never thought being a waiter would be so much paperwork. Guess I can keep talking to the waiter. So, like, were you totally grossed out when you saw Bob on cut up? Did you puke? Oh, man, I well, hate that kind of waiter who kneels down know, next to the table and starts talking to you. Ugh. It's kind of like seeing a dead cat in the road, you know? Oh, hey, speaking of dead cats, half price on mini tacos today. You must have been in total shock, huh? That yeah, must have been. Why, yes, I am in total shock. Can't you see by my acting performance that every ounce of me seethes with absolute terror and horror? Okay, no more talking to the waiter, but I can use the table. Hmm. Nah, I'm not all that hungry. Uh, why didn't you let me open the menu in the first place, you stupid game? Oh, I can order a wine, though. Hey, it's Charlie Sheen's house on any given night. Beer, wine, tea, coffee, I can't use any more of that. Okay, so it looks like every possible avenue in this room is exhausted, so I guess I'll leave. Maybe now I can finally see Doc Hamburg. Oh, what am I thinking? Harbor? It's not time for my appointment. What? I still can't see the doctor? I guess work is the only place I haven't been, even though I wasn't supposed to go back there, seeing as how there's a police investigation going on! God, this makes no sense!